Hello players, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna be playing some Watcher of Realms, right? Specifically, we're gonna be doing some gear forging and also we're gonna see what our rewards are going to be from doing this insanely new gear aid for. So stay tuned if you wanna see an insane exclusive, right? So keep in touch. So, because I wanna actually exercise and make my videos a little bit more punchier, so more straight to the point, I'm just gonna go straight to it. So, let's get started with the artifacts, right? Because that's the, let's say, less interesting uh, part of the video. So, uh, as I said before, we have uh, around one ten pool for normal, normal artifacts and a few pools for the exclusive one. So, let's get started. I want Tear of Twilight or Wailing Skull. Let's see. Oh, Eye of Sin. I don't think I had I the Eye of Sin. So yeah, very satisfied with the Eye of Sin. Let's continue with the exclusive ones. I haven't gotten an exclusive artifact from this exclusive forge yet, I think. This is going to be four pools. I have more unfortunate skulls. It's an unfortunate pool. Oh my god! No god! No god! Please no! So I got Crush's Molten Cog. Yeah. I don't even know what it does. Cannon Overload has 50% chance to fire 3 extra cannonballs. Trash! I don't want it. I don't want it at all. Oh my god, from all the exclusives. Yeah. It is what it is, what can I say? Oh well, there it is guys, we've gotten an exclusive and it's for Crash. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate, but uh, let's move on. So, uh, unfortunately I don't have enough for a 10 pull for these ones. Uh, only 193 I did an accidental pull before. But uh, let's do the... Um, the 10 one for the left side. So I would like the Wicked Vengeance one. I'm not particularly interested in the Light's Grace, right? Because I don't think it's that big of a healer, um, of a healer gear set. So let's count to 10, right? Not to three. One, two, three, go. Let's see, what do I get? Ooh, oh, oh my god, so many lights, Grace. Okay, this is trash. Uh, this is trash. <laughs> this is trash. Yeah, I'm not gonna use this one. No. This one's again too bad. Uh, what different scaling killer do we have in the game? We don't have one. Yeah. Quite, quite unlucky. Maybe in two weeks time when gear rate 4 is going to come back around, I'm gonna have more luck, right? Yeah. That's sad, man. So for the people that made it this far, just know that 89% of you guys that are watching aren't actually subscribed and 1,400 people are actually returning viewers. So I'm very grateful for you guys. I love that you come and check out my content. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, especially if you keep coming back and if you enjoy what I do. So uh, actually, let's just... Uh, summon really quickly do a quick summoning for each and every one over here so oh an ancient from the forge Damn, didn't know that could happen, even though I should have imagined it can. Def it's defense bonus, but whatever, man. When deployed, HP plus 20% when attacked recovers 5% of max HP. I mean, it's not that great, to be honest, even though it's ancient. Let's move on. Let's hope we have better rock in the gear identify section. So, 
I have this ring over here and the weapon. Let's start with the ring, right? So uh, let's see what we get. Come on. The inside. Okay. And with aggression, extra bonus, whatever. This is not... I mean, the piece is good. The set is meh. I'm not particularly enjoying the set. And the extra... 200 attack seems underwhelming but i'll take it it's much better than i've got what i've gotten so far right let's see the gear identify weapon this is going to be the last one this is going to culminate into all my working gear rate for let's see you've got to be kidding oh uh, what what is this stoicism what this is so bad holy moly this is bad no crit rate no crit damage wow guys you got to be kidding me man so let, let's let's maybe just upgrade them and see if this is going to be better go into the yellow It doesn't even go into purple. Is this the luckiest pulls you've ever seen, huh? Wow. God damn. Thank you. At least crit damage. Wow, guys. Wow. Just wow. So, variant gear supposed to be better than ancient gear, huh? Not so far. Not so far, definitely. So, yeah. Pretty unlucky, I told you, I just want to make my videos punchier and straight to the point. This has been specifically a video in which I kind of ripped the rewards of what I did in Gear 8 4, plus some extra Forge, uh, Artifact Forge pulls, right? And uh, tomorrow I'm going to make a video in which we talk about the last stage from the treasures in the deep challenge mode. Also, I'm particularly curious about the fact that Moonton actually released this banner like I was thinking all the time nah man this is such an April Fool's joke they wouldn't they just wouldn't they did <laughs> they actually did and it's so weird because who would pull for this banner and ever so recently I think they posted uh, I can't remember where I think on YouTube they posted a challenge in which they asked us what we think a future Nyx skin is going to look like. And yeah, that's a pretty nice community event. I do like this type of stuff that's engaging with the community. But what the hell, man? What's this banner? Tell me, let me know in the comments below if you pulled for this banner. I'm really curious if anyone at all pulled on this banner. I would assume no one actually would. I would assume no one actually would pull on that one, especially after such a big Hex and Zilla 2 banner, right? So yeah, thank you for watching. As I said, I'm trying to experiment and make my videos punchier, get more straight to the point. Let me know if that feels weird or it actually feels right and you enjoy this type of, uh, this type of overlay. And thank you for watching again. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment. I read every single comment that I see and I respond to every single comment that I see. This has been Andy, Event Horizon Gaming. Bye bye guys.